Hello and welcome to the Unashamed Online Bible Study. We are using the Unashamed Study Guide by the author Christine Kane. Today I'd like to share some truths with you about the differences between guilt and shame. Shame is the fear of being unworthy and it adversely affects our relationship with God, others, and even ourselves. It greatly hinders our ability to receive God's unconditional love and share it with others. But because of God's great love for us, we can break through the power of shame and its lies through God's word. Shame is a powerful, um, powerfully painful emotion. It whispers lies to our souls. It pushes down and prevents us from becoming all we can be. And it teaches us to hide ourselves and hunker down whenever we find a wall of protection. There are many feelings of shame humiliation, disgrace, unworthiness, embarrassment, anger, dishonor, remorse, anguish, sorrow, and self-reproach. We are image bearers of God himself. We were not designed to bear shame or to be shame bearers. The Hebrew word for shame is stronger than the, the meaning to be embarrassed. It, the word is bosh, which means utterly dejected, to be ashamed in front of one another. It contains a sense of exploitation in front of not, one another, a fear of exploitation or of evil. And that is not how God created us to be. According to Dr. Brene Brown, the author of Women of, and Shame, she defines it as intensely painful feeling or experience of being, believing we are flawed and therefore unworthy. Her definition and description of guilt is, Guilt says that we've done something bad or you've made a bad choice. Shame says you are bad and there is a big difference between you've made a mistake and you are the mistake. Christine Kane puts it this way. Guilt is about my do. Shame is about my who. God wants us to understand and take responsibility for our actions. This is what the scripture says about our who. It says that we are wonderfully and fearfully made. The power of shame. Can be broken and has been broken through the love of Jesus Christ, his crucifixion on the cross, and his resurrection. Believing that God love, believing he loves you, is opening up your heart to healing and freedom that he purchased through his death, burial, and resurrection, as John 3.16 says. His love can't fail, as 1 Corinthians 13.8 says. You will always be able to depend on it. He loves you with an everlasting love and can't be taken away. That's Jeremiah 31, 3. And there's an astounding promise that comes with his love. There is nothing that can separate you or I from it, not even shame. God wants us to move toward his unconditional love. God has not left us alone hiding in shame. If we step into his his love he calls us by name and he's eager to embrace us just as as we are he calls us into a breathtaking journey 
from hiding from shame for restoration. Psalms 118.5 says, The Lord answered me and set me free. When we ask God to open up our hearts to his love, we can and will be set free. With faith, it doesn't erase any of our insecurities, doubts, fears, or even shame. It overcomes them all through our faith. So joy shame has no place in the purpose, plan, and destiny that Jesus came to set us free from. From all the shame, the guilt, the heartache, the pain, all of those feelings that we feel when we feel like we are unworthy. Because Galatians 5.1 says that it is for freedom that Christ has set you and I free. So we are to stand firm then and do not let ourselves be burdened again by the yoke of slavery. Because the thief comes only to steal, kill, and to destroy. And Jesus has come that we may have life and have it to the full. John 10.10 10. Join us Thursday at 8 p.m. on our God's Girls Facebook page for a Bible Study Live. I hope to see you there. Thank you.